The threat to Afghanistan's capital Kabul is growing with each passing minute. The Taliban are closing in on the capital. The latest reports say the terrorists have taken over another provincial capital, Medan Shar city, which is just 50 kilometers, that's 30 miles away from Kabul. The terrorists have overrun Vardak province and are now advancing towards Kabul. Late last night, there was a power blackout in Kabul city, followed by helicopters movement believed to be of evacuating missions. The capital of Vardak province, Medan Shahar, is the gateway to Kabul and Taliban could be literally knocking at the doors. The country's second, third and fourth largest cities have already fallen into the Taliban's hands. Kabul is one of the few remaining cities still in the government hands. It is effectively the last stand for government forces. Panicked residents in Kabul are forced to withdraw their savings. Hundreds of people formed long lines outside banks. Some bank branches appear to have already run out of cash. The residents of Kabul will be at the receiving end of the Taliban violence, along with the tens of thousands who have sought refuge in Kabul in recent weeks. Families are taking shelter in parks after fleeing the Taliban's advance. ما از شمال افغانستان ولایت جوجان اومدیم به خاطر منطقه ما مردم جنگ وحشت دهشت بود از به خاطر جنگ ما مردم از جان خدا کشیدیم از کابل اومدیم اینجا اومدن ما نزدیک حق یک هفته شد که به خاطر من دولت یک نان من نان خشک نداد آب نداد این مثل که دید شما اینجا پارک هستیم نه برادر خوردن است نه از and joining us for the broadcast this minute is our correspondent Anas Malik, who's been traveling across Afghanistan, getting us the very latest. He's joining us from Kabul. For more on the latest, Anas, as per the latest reports, the terrorists have now taken over uh, the uh, Medan Shahar city as well, which is just 50 kilometers uh, from Kabul. You've been traveling through Afghanistan, talking to the people on the ground. Tell us more about what you've seen. Well, absolutely, Molly. The Taliban are now have uh, are said to have been in control of Vardak province. They've overran Medan Shahar, uh, that is just southwest, 40, 45 kilometers uh, to where I am, the main capital city of Kabul. There is chaos on the streets of Kabul, as what I have learned from local reports, uh, from local people. Uh, there is immense traffic jam. People are lining up at the ATMs in order to collect cash. Uh, they fear that in case uh, uh, there is an apprehension that in case if the Taliban come over what would happen to the food supplies and whatnot we've been hearing even uh, now, right now I can hear to my left uh, there are choppers that are hovering over uh, to my left is uh, where the US embassy compound is so time and again we've been hearing uh, uh, the choppers from US choppers uh, hovering over and uh, what given to understand that there is an extraction that has been taking place uh, that is what the Associated Press has also confirmed uh, uh, if I talk to you about the situation in the city uh, there, there is a semblance of business as usual but it is not the honk the honking that you hear right behind me that is ongoing on the streets of Kabul uh, it might it might sound normal but it does not look normal because there is abnormalcy on the roads there is chaos there is traffic uh, we saw we, there is unusual traffic uh, today there, uh, usually we see the, the, that traffic happens to be at uh, normal hours as well but today it's a bit unusual uh, uh, my my uh, translator, or uh, my help, uh, my my uh, assistants, associates are are stuck even now. It's been over two hours since they've been on the road. They've been different journalists. There is a general sense of scare within the city. The the Afghan government has been reassuring the people of Kabul that they will be protecting the city. That they will ensure 
to uh, to uh, to push back the Taliban from entering towards the city uh, as they near as they come nearer towards the city of Kabul. But for now, that those reassurances seems to seem to do no good to the people of Kabul, and there is we we are witnessing chaos on the streets of Kabul. Yes, Molly. The country's second, third, and fourth largest cities now have been captured by the Taliban terrorists. Let's also take a step back and explain to our viewers the significance of the capturing of Wardak Province, Anas, since it is the, considered as the gateway to Kabul. Uh, this does mean that, as you've been telling us, the tensions on the ground have only been escalating, and that the Taliban terrorists uh, could be knocking on the doors of Kabul anytime soon. Well, Wardak is the gateway to Kabul. Uh, there are two main passes that lead to Wardak. It is in the southwest of the city. So if you have to travel to north or to the south, either way, you have to take the route to uh, through Wardak. And uh, 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 Madan Shahar, as I said, it has been overrun. It has been claimed by the Taliban uh, that they have overrun it. So uh, by and large, uh, the, the entrance to the city is now limited, if not uh, clogged. Uh, it is limited because uh, in the east, the Jalalabad Gardez Highway, there too, the Taliban have claimed stake on Nangarhar uh, uh, towards uh, towards northeast as well uh, in uh, Logar province. The Taliban claimed stake two days ago. So the only way out, uh, that is the only traffic out or in or out uh, of Kabul, is uh, the Parwan Road. It's towards the north, and that is the Parwan Panshir Road. As we speak. Uh, locals have been telling me that there is a fight that has that has been ongoing. In fact, the police chief has also confirmed that uh, there is a mo unusual movement due to a fight that is ongoing uh, in Parwan, that is near, very near to Kabul. Uh, but uh, uh, as I said, uh, these are the main roads or arteries that 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 lead to traffic within the city or out of the city and most of them at least 90 percent of them are now said to be in control that is in the outskirts of the city not in the city premises not in Kabul, Kabul district premises uh, but uh, uh, they are said to be in control even now when I talk to you I can see to my left there is a US chopper that is just about to land on the uh, US embassy uh, uh, I've lost view of that but uh, uh, we've been listening to these choppers hovering over, going in and out uh, from the U.S. Embassy. Then we see vehicles as well going in and out. And uh, because uh, the government has not been speaking up, uh, we haven't seen much, we haven't heard much from the government. So that is leading to unrest. Unrest is leading to anxiety and anxiety is leading to panic. Yes, Molly. We're leaving it there for the moment, uh, Anas Malik. Crucial few uh, hours and days ahead uh, for Afghanistan. We'll, of course, keep coming back to you as and when we have further updates. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.